find myself in blue water of all places. What am I doing in blue water, you may ask? There's no retro game shops there, but just showing you a little bit of insight into my sort of everyday proceeding, shall we say. Uh, I'm up here for Apple, actually. Uh, I'm coming up because I fancy a laptop. Now, the idea behind this is I do all my editing at home and I'll do it all on a, um, on a PC, a Windows PC. But the thing is, it's a bit fixed, it's a bit anti-social, so I thought if I can get um, sort of a laptop, then I'll be able to uh, edit at home, in the garden, etc., on my travels, all that sort of stuff. So uh, I'm off to Apple, of all places. So my wallet can take it, eh? <laughs> so entering Blue Water, nice and early, make my way to the Apple store, and I enter, and this is the bad boy I'm looking at, the Air Airbook Pro. Well, man, Mac, MacBook Pro, Air? I don't know. But anyway, a McDonald's breakfast was in order. Because it'll be rude not to. Oh, yes, a double sausage and egg McMuffin, complete with hash brown and a nice orange juice. Yes, I did round up. Because, hey, why not? It's charitable after all. Anyway, rock and roll. So I finished up in Apple there. Unfortunately, they couldn't... Um couldn't fulfill my order because if you upgrade or change the spec they don't keep them in stock so a uh, quick Mackie D's breakfast guys because you know it'd be rude not to a bit early for a pint <laughs> but anyway like I say a quick breakfast and then uh, head back home and uh, see what the day brings there we go got my ash brown got this now look lovely I do love a double sausage and egg muffin but I never eat the eggs I should all grip without really, but I usually end up giving it to my brother. But you ain't here, so it's down to me myself. Bit of salt and pepper. Get it down us, and of course, to wash it all down, a nice OJ. Making my way back to the car, I just quickly popped in men kind. As you can see here, a few interesting items. The Atari 50th anniversary thing there. Let's be honest, these things are two a penny now, aren't they? Uh, but in this shop, loads and loads of pops and a special offer on two for 25 if that's your bag, guys. So, Mankind, nice big range of pops in. So if you're interested in that, get yourselves along to Mankind. It's uh, it's not a bad deal, I suppose. Two for 25 Got to be done if that's your thing. So that was a quick trip. Basically, I'm going to go home and order it all online because... If you make any changes to the basic spec met models, they can't, they don't have them in store, and that's a huge store. So, never do that of Apple, so I don't think I'll bother visiting the stores again unless I've really got a, a, a burning question. But I had a look at uh, an app MacBook Air, the new one, M2 15 inch screen. Very nice, I uh, quite liked it. They managed to answer all my questions. Just about doing everything else about face, really, isn't it? Because it's Windows to Mac. But hey ho, it is what it is. Anyway, get in the car, head home, see what delights <laughs> I can get into for the rest of the day. When I find my car, of course. Just popped out to the games room. Got to have a little tidy up here today. Um, I don't know, I'm probably not showing up much mess, but all stuff of that all lying about, as you can probably see. Um, so a general tidy up, hoover up as well. Got some bit of dust coming in from the garden there because I'm having the door open because it's just glorious sunshine, isn't it, eh? Um, bit of a mess, stuff on the chairs. That stuff, the ZX Spectrum stuff over there, look, just haven't put that away from that unboxing the other week. And I've got some videos to shoot as well while I'm out here today at some point. But the predicament is this. I've been invited down to the micro pub, which opens once a month. Hmm. <laughs> decisions, decisions. So it's one o'clock now. I've just started the, on the clean up. I got a bit distracted. That's a problem. I come out to do things and I end up getting majorly distracted. So what I've done so far is this. These shelves are great. I mean, I love these shelves, right? But the problem is, as you can see there, how deep they are, look. So you could literally double your games up on them. You know what I mean? But um, obviously I don't like doing that. But with the cassette tapes like that, the ZX Spectrum tapes, I think I can, can't I? Do you think that works all right? Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you think that's all right? Is that acceptable? Anyway, let's crack on. Some bits here, look, to go through. I mean, this, right? I had this for Father's Day. Now, I don't drink many, um, um, much liquor. <laughs> but this, I do like a JD. And he bought me this. It's like a guitar case, look. 
looks like a, a guitar head stopper and a bottle of JD. It's <laughs> quite often little OG comes out here and he ends up stealing my, my spirits. So uh, I don't get to drink them. So that one's definitely going to be put away. That's for mine. That's definitely for me. You ain't getting that one. And uh, I've got these bits here. Got a couple of games there. Oh, I have to blur the address on them. They come through via eBay. So I've got a couple of them to open. I've got this. I was given that. So I'm going to show you that during a pickups video. Uh, interesting items in there. Uh, just a bit of general tidying up to do still, guys. I do enjoy my tinkering out here. <laughs> but the problem is I ended up getting, <laughs> always end up getting a little distracted. Let's try for me, high school, guys. <laughs> the hatch is down. But no, I'm not getting retro goodies. I'm putting away my, uh, my work, mate. Okay, so let's get that done. And then I'm pretty much cleared down here. A bit of gaming, as I say, before I go out. Do you know what? I might just treat myself to a bit of PS3 goodness. I think a bit of PS3 is in all day, you know. This floor's a good sweeper. Get a lot of rubbish blowing from outside to keep on top of it. This used to be my, well, not used to be. This is my weekly little job. I just come out here and polish every week. And I say used to because I didn't do it last week. That's a certain uh, Nat the Animating's fault and his dad Jay. I blame you and your family. <laughs> you know it. Yes, they invited me over. I ended up having a good few beers. So this is two weeks out of date. Hmm. Cleaning all complete. I've just swept my floor and stuff. So I thought I'd sit and play some PS3. <laughs> But it won't start up. I think it's died. Uh, I've got several spares. The problem is this one's got a lot of save data on. And this one's a backward compatible one. So I'm going to have to pay to get this repaired, I think. I'm going to miss this guy. Anyway, let's go and have a look and see if any of you can identify what the issue is. Help. Uh. So I've got the telly on, guys. Let's zoom down here. So this is the PS3 here. Okay, look. So I'll press this. Get the green light. It does that. Press it again, blinking there, red blinking. Press it again, let's see what happens. Troll knitting, just staying red there, look. Let's try and change the, uh, the source, see if I can get anything on that. No, it's not, he's not playing ball, mate. I think he might have, I think old PS3 may have hit the wall. <laughs> Anyone know anything about these? Let me know in the comments, guys. I'm gonna have to play something else, isn't I? So a bit of gaming before we go to this micro pub. Let's play some old. Uh, let's get the retro going, shall we? So we've got NES, we've got some SNES. I tell you what, let's go for it, guys. This is one tough game, my friends, but always worth a play. An absolutely amazing game. Super NES. This is an amazing game. Gonna love this gotta love this game excuse the background there guys but as you know it's just a general vlog there's no major editing going on here here we go this is one tough platformer have you played this if so how far did you get this is hard mate how many of you have played this honestly and how far have you managed to get uh, i made the sand crawler before uh and uh, i just need to invest a lot more time in this so i don't give this a good good game now Confession time, I just got into the options here guys. The difficulty is currently on Brave. So I'm not going to Jedi, I'm going easy guys. Oh yes. That, that's making it a lot easier guys. If you're gonna play this, just drop the level, enjoy it more. Trust me, you won't regret it. What we got next? So we've just finished that one. Oh, it's great. I love the intercut scenes here where it sort of tells the story. And the sound, listen. And Yoshi approves. It's just great. Any Star Wars fan will love these games. I always feel a bit guilty on this level. Shooting the showers just feels wrong. I mean, listen to them, look. They just make that lovely fruitini sound. <laughs> anyway, listen to this sound. It's just amazing, honestly. It's such a great game. If you've not played this, guys, you must. So I've got time for one more quick game or something. So let's have a look here, what we got here. Mario All Stars, Donkey Kong K, 
country. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Like I say, I haven't got long. NBA Jam. What's that one? Lost Vikings. I never thought about that. Anyway, the things you got. Or should we have a bit of NES? Hmm. I'll tell you what. Let's go for a bit of Rush and Attack. Or oh, Green Beret to our other um, users. So let's find the right port there. We want the NES port, which is a port for that one there. Let's get him in. Find him roughly. Give him a good solid jab there. Power up. Here we go. Bit of Russian attack. Or um or green beret. However you remember it guys. But it's uh it's good to visit these different conversions every now and then. I mean this one plays relatively well compared to the arcade as well. Very good conversion overall. Not as hectic as the arcade. And uh the enemies approach you slightly uh, slower, so you can you have time to preempt the attacks a bit more and stuff. But the NES, I, I, I don't think it gets the love it deserves. You know what I mean? I mean, it did these sort of things very well. I mean, graphically, alright, it was a bit blocky, but you know what? It's a smooth system. Shutting up the games room now, people. Getting ready to go, because I'm off to the uh, the micro pub barn. Um, be interesting what brews we get today. Watch this space. I am back from the local micro pub. Oh yes, I had four pints of like some disco cider or something. I think it's 5.7 or. 5.1. Either way, I'm feeling it now. I'm ready to I'm ready to rock and roll now. I've got a bit of a taste. So I'm now on the Stellas, guys. Uh tonight is Glasto, so we've got Guns and Roses headlining. I will be watching the Guns and Roses headline slot tonight. I'm really looking forward to that. Um so all in all, so far it's been a great, great Saturday. The dinner's in the oven, the beers are flowing. What's not to love? Might get some more gaming on the go before dinner. Just a quick one, guys. I've been joined here by my good friend, one of my cats. This is Luna. I call her Looney. <laughs> She's quite a nervous cat, this one. But she does like coming in the game room and she loves sitting on the back of this chair. Now I'm looking at turfing this chair out of here, and I, Loon? Loon. She's not up for you guys today. I'm sorry, but uh, I'll try again. Loon. No, she just loves sitting there so she can peer out in the garden at the birds and stuff, you know. But anyway, as I say, happy Saturdays, guys. Get back to the beers. Well, me and my cat Loon are still here, ain't we, Loon? There she is, eh? Hey, look, give us a wink. Well, she was nervous, didn't she, bless? But anyway, we are playing this, guys. Now, as you can see, I've got to the... Uh, I'm at the sand crawler level. This game is as hard as now. This is so unforgiving. This has got to be one of the hardest platform type games of this genre ever, guys. Do play it though. It's so addictive. I can't go over it. I'm, I'm still on it now. Bit of Tiger Heli now. This is an absolutely amazing shoot 'em up. I mean, do you guys remember this? This is as hard as nails. I'm really punishing myself on the game front today, but I have to admit, I really do enjoy this. And I'm filming it with one hand. Oh, I'm gonna lose a life. Of course I am. That's what you get for filming with one hand, guys. <laughs> and my final game for a Saturday night before I come watch me buns and toasties is this old classic. Now, how can this one is for your old man, mate? He's been sending me messages. He's been letting me know how great he is at this game. So let's go and check it out. There you go, guys. You've got the best of both worlds. You've got my reflection and the game itself. Yes, it is the one, the only, the Space Invaders. Let's see if I can get close to Alkin's dad's score. I doubt I can, but I'll try. Did very badly on Space Invaders, guys. 1,480. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. That's a, that's a warm up game. But I think it's time, isn't it? It's got to be time for Guns N' Roses. Let's go. Yeah. 
Morning guys, it's Sunday morning and it is absolutely roasting hot already. To be fair, I was going to go to CEX today to film a CEX challenge. No, one of my £20 jobs, but I don't know if I will. But I am popping out and where I'm going there is a charity shop. So I'll be popping in there guys. And, uh, hmm, I really fancy prawns, <laughs> shell on prawns. So I'm going to go and get to a seafood store and hopefully the traffic ain't too bad. And I'll pick up some sh um, shell on prawns and some nice bit of seafood. I fancy a bit of seafood today. I had a craving yesterday. Anyway, after Guns N' Roses last night, what are people's thoughts? I mean, Slash has still got it. He's a great guitar god, but Axel's voice has gone in it, bless. Oh, well. Anyway, let's get a... Uh, Let's get out and, out and about, eh? It's Sunday morning, it's half 11. Look at this, um, the, uh, look at the, um, the temperature that is showing. This is just nuts. Seafood has been purchased. Looking forward to that a bit later. This weather, this is second to none. Anyway, here I am, big charity shop over here. See if we find anything. Be a nice little touch to a Sunday morning, wouldn't it? First charity shop here. Uh, some VHS videotapes down there in the lower left, look. Don't see them very often now, do you? In, well, not down here in the south. As for games, as you can see here, there's a little selection. Unfortunately, nothing special though, and what they do have, I personally felt are a little overpriced. I know it's charity and that, but there was nothing here I really wanted. Usual FIFA fodder, but hey, you know, we come to expect that, don't we? Um, three quid there for a copy of FIFA. I don't know if that one was worth three quid or not. Like I say, it's, uh, I'm not a big fan of FIFA, guys, but you already know that. Um, I mean, some of these prices here, I mean, look at this one here, the Smackdown versus Raw, three quid. I don't know, what's that in here? It's got to be about a pound, isn't it? And that Disney Infinity on the PS3, four notes they wanted for that one. Now, there, look at this, FIFA 16, right, three pound. How are they coming up with them prices? Or is it just me, guys? Let me know, are your charity shops the same? I uh, quickly popped in Game, which is in a, a sports director, and that is it. That is the size of game now. Bloody small, ain't they? Anyway, puts in another charity shop. Just fodder here. Now, I've got a little big side at some of these Wii games, but to be honest, they didn't have manuals, the ones I was interested in. So, all in all, I left them. I had to walk away, guys. So, no pickups in the charity shops. Anyway, your feedback is needed. Do you Would, would you like to see more of these vlog-type things? I mean, just from my odd weekend here and there, if it's something you'd like, please do drop in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Or is it, or, you know, but be honest. If it's not for you, just say, please do. I really do appreciate all of your feedback so anyway one thing left to do oh yes gotta be beer o'clock in it <laughs> so guys as i said popping out for a couple of points very nice too 31 degrees now people although it says birra moretti i'm actually on pints of stella guys Anyway, as always, hope you've enjoyed this. This beer is for you. Oh, lovely and cold. Hey guys, just back from the town. Had a nice few pints there. Because it'd be rude not to, being a Sunday and all. You know, the day of rest. Anyway, this weekend, to summarise people. Uh, all in all, been very good. I spent a few quid, yes, there in the Apple store. Uh, although I didn't spend it in the store, I come home and ordered it online. So I didn't realise you can't just go to Apple and pick up your product. Um, and this is a basic standard model, which was a new thing on me. So anyway, I spent quite a bit of money on that. So what they come in, I reckon it could take uh, a week to 10 days. So we'll see. Um, and if you bit enjoyed the micro pub, you see, that was fun. Had some of that disco cider. Watch Guns and Roses on the telly. Very disappointed by Axel's voice. Unfortunately, he's lost it, guys. But hey, you know, I suppose all them years of screaming takes its toll. And now I'm back from the pub here. I did visit a couple of charity shops. Unfortunately, there was nothing in them at all, as you could see. That second one showed a bit of promise, though. But unfortunately, weren't to be. No manuals in them. So, anyway, I'm back having a few beers now, rounding off my Sunday afternoon, getting ready to go back to work tomorrow, I suppose, and start it all over again. So, now, guys, I've been OG Duffy. You guys have been awesome as always. Let me know, what have you been up to this weekend? And as always, guys, 
Cheers. Have a beer. Relax, chill. See you next week. Cheers. <laughs>